And now we continue to remember the life Mount Holly police officer Tyler Herndon. Officer Herndon was shot and killed in the line of duty early Friday morning. He was shot by a suspect during a break in at the Mount Holly car wash just two days before his 26th birthday. Today, the Mount Holly community and law enforcement from across the state gathered in Gaston County to pay their final respects to a fallen hero. We've had team coverage uh, with our reporters covering this story all day so we can bring you a complete picture of who Officer Herndon was and the impact he will leave on our community. We start with our Tanya Mendez live at First Baptist Church Kings Mountain, where Officer Herndon's funeral ended a short time ago. Tanya, an emotional day for so many. It was, and you know, one of the most powerful moments that we saw actually happened right here behind me at the church as they were bringing out Officer Herndon's body in the casket. We saw hundreds of people, members of law enforcement and the community who stood at attention for what felt like a full minute. They had an honor wall that had formed as they were bringing out the casket, a moment of silence, and then a salute, a final one symbolically here at this church as they remembered the life of a man who was well loved. If there's ever a question about whether someone's life mattered, look around. And if you looked around at the service honoring fallen Mount Holly officer Tyler Herndon today, it was evidence of a life well lived and a man well loved. Fellow law enforcement filling every parking space who came from across the region. Friends and family lining up to pay their respects. A church with loved ones so full that officers had to give up their seats. I'm a better man because of Tyler Herndon. The city of Mount Holly is a better place because of Tyler Herndon. Those who knew Officer Herndon said he was the class clown, the guy who filled the room with laughter, made life a little funnier. A man who was a protector long before he was an officer, who watched over his sister while she slept. He would have been there early and it worked late. He'd have been the last one to leave. We'd had to make him go home. Mount Holly's police chief described Officer Herndon as a man with a servant's heart, and he lived with that attitude of service in all that he did. His pastor recognizing the agony so many inside the service felt today. It's truly hard to grasp the, the depth of sin, the senselessness of wickedness. And there were also moments of hope as well. I'll give you a quick example of one. I met an eight-year-old little boy today whose aunt knew Officer Herndon, had gone to college with him, and he was standing here walking up and down along the streets, waving a flag, saying that he just wanted to pay his respects. Just eight years old. Reporting live, I'm Tanya Mendes, WCNC Charlotte.